I'm gonna show you how to add uh, bothings to your HTML page using Angular. So this is the procedure. And basically what we are trying to achieve is something like this. So today let's just focus on adding all the bothings we need and also adding the design of these bothings using Font Awesome uh, and uh, boot, uh, font, ultra, uh, font Awesome and Bootstrap model and Angular material. So these are different things I normally use. I already explained how to add all these libraries in the previous uh, lesson. So you can actually go back to the uh, tutorial one. You can find it in this website. Everything is here. If you are joining for the first time, please subscribe. Okay, so subscribe. And also if you have challenges, let me know because this is what I do. I really want to help as many programmers as possible. All right, so the first button we are going to add on this page, the first button we are going to add is the add new button. So to allow a user to add a new uh, item onto the the onto the the list of items. So the so I'm going to add it somewhere uh, here, just above the table. I'm going to add a div tag. So actually, in, uh, instead of copy, instead of doing it. I can actually copy and paste, but in this case, let me just type it out. So in this case, I have a div tag and I want to add a class of border. This class called border, I've actually, uh, okay. So it's a class that is available in, uh, in, in um, what's it called? In Angular material or bootstrap, I, I, I can't remember exactly. So we need a button, okay. We need a button and and we need a test in between this button that say new friend. If I save everything now, uh, you can see that the button appears, but it's actually not looking so good. So let's add a few styles to this button. So this button, I'm gonna add a class. Uh, I'm gonna add a class to be um, BTN and BTN, uh, BTN MD. So MD kind of means medium BTN MD and BTN outline primary, okay? So BTN outline primary seems to be available in Angular material, I think so, I can't remember exactly. And if I save everything and then go back to look at my button, you can see it makes some sense, but now there are, we need some spaces around this button. So in that case, um, okay, we also need some kind of icon on this button. So to add the icon, you simply go to your button. Let me just increase the font of this a little bit. Okay. So simply go to the button just before the new friend. So I'm going to make it, make a little bit of room here. I'm going to add I, I stand for icon and the class is going to be FA font awesome. That is FA and FA user, okay? So if I save everything now, and if I go back to look at the page, you can see it makes some sense, but we need to reduce the size of this, of the icon. So to do that, I have actually tested this little code I wrote here. So I'm going to simply copy this code. Now this code, you are going to put it in your styles.css. You can find the styles.css somewhere inside the app folder or the app directory. So, now we have all these other fonts here, it doesn't matter. So just paste this, uh, this right here. We also have this FA, da, da, da. Now I'm going to leave the two. So I'm going to save everything. Uh, what's happening? And if I go back to my page, you can see something works. But now there is a confusion between this FA here <laughs> because the button is just too big. And uh, this FA, FA right here, so I'm going to delete this one. <laughs> Sometimes this can be confusing a bit. So I'm going to save. Now it's fine now, but if you go back to the home page, uh, you see everything is screwed up kind of. So let me reduce this. Okay, so it makes some sense. Now that FA that has a style of 50 applies to this, okay? So how do we apply a style to this font awesome icon on the home page without it affecting the one in the button? Uh, let me see, I think I can achieve that. So if we go to the home components, uh, I can go to 
the frame component. Okay, so we can apply a style to to a class uh, to border uh, botting. I can't remember exactly, but uh, like a, a class I inside a botting. So let's go back to meanwhile. Let's just say command S. Let's add back. Oh, this new one second. I think okay. So. Okay, so let's leave this the way it is so that we can have these icons here to be this size, okay? But now we want to add another style. So in this case, FA, but it's going to apply to button, okay? So in case of a button, before now, we have it too big right here, but now we need it to be smaller. So I'm gonna kind of save everything. So it tends not to be working uh okay so the easiest thing to do is to simply go to this place i'm going to name this i'm going to give this an id so i'm going to say id sorry uh, do you understand what i'm doing now so i'm going to say id equal to uh let's call it id is equal to i uh, my icon okay so i'm going to apply a style directly only to this uh my style this icon here so to do that just come to here, this place i use the hash selector the hash key selector my icon and apply a font of 10. so in this case if i save it applies uh for some reason oh that's margin right but i need to set the font size as well font size to be 10 px okay and save everything uh so maybe we'll try 30 px and this is fine so you can actually adjust the size and in this case if you go back to the home page the home page is still so big so we're actually applying style selectively to to each of the items all right so let's add more buttons this time we want to add edit update and delete uh edit button uh details button and and uh, the other botting. So this is something like this. Okay, so let me just show you how to do that. Well, the best thing to do, I'm going to copy it, but for you, I recommend you type it out yourself. It's basically the same botting, but wrap inside a TD tag. So, give me one second. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. Okay, perfect. So I'm going back to the friends component and in this case, I'm going to simply uh, paste this right here. So we have a TD tag, okay? I have a button, we have another button, we have another button, all right? But we might have some problem um, because the buttons we have here uh, does not have an ID. So the styles might actually uh, be a little distorted but let's just save just to see how it looks like. So if I get back here, yeah, so this is what I was saying. <laughs> uh, so this is a problem. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna say ID is equal to my icon, but I know you can't have uh, two different IDs uh, in the same page. So let's just, uh, actually this should be in the tag. So if you know a, a faster way of doing this, uh, please, uh, also let me know because I'm not a UI person, but I think I, whatever I learn, I like to share it around. So if you know a better way of doing it, please, uh, let me know. So I'm going to add, uh, add all this here, my icon one, my icon two, and my icon three. Okay. So if I get back to my style shape, I can now say hash my icon one and hash my, my icon two and hash my icon three. So it's gonna to apply to 
So there's three styles that we have for this button. So just to reduce the sizes of these icons. So I'm going to save everything and hopefully the size actually did not reduce. That is strange. Um, okay, so let's try to reduce this font size to uh, to 15 and save everything. Okay, so for some reason, uh, okay, so I think it's it works, but uh, I think the sizes are just too big. So I'm gonna say Command S to save everything. Okay, so for some reason it simply doesn't work. I think the problem is coming from here. Is coming from um. Office Arch, BTN, right, so, um, so, um, okay, let me just try something else at this point. Let me just take out all of this. Let me try something else. So let's say I apply a style to FA such. So if I go back to my to this, I say dot FA search. So that's what I have there. And 5px margin right 10. I'm going to say uh, save everything. Okay, so the, the icon actually changes, but the button does not change. So that is the challenge. Okay, so how about adding, first I'm going to, let's say, add a padding of 0px. Okay, so nothing changes as well. Um, okay, so we have the details adjusted, but the edit and delete. Okay, let's see. So F A. I can't remember if I have F A table or F A. Uh, so let's go back to check. So we have F A search, F A edit, and F A remove. So F A, F A edit. and dot fa remove so if i save everything at this point okay so it doesn't work okay okay so you don't have an option i think it's taking this font size of 50 in this case of this fa so i'm going to just change it to 15 to or to 12 i'm going to say Control s so that is what is happening and so if i shift this so i think it works kind of fine but now you see that it also affects this one which is not exactly what we want this is taking my time i'm not a ui person i would like you to figure this out yourself and i'm going to stop here in this case we've added all our buttons in the next part we are going to be talking about actually displaying model pop-up uh on our form in case you know how to figure out this all the css style things please let me know in the comment box below i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you